Thank you viewers. Thank you for stopping by. In today's mathematics class, we shall have a limpid mathematics question as it is written on the board that if x all over 5 all to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2, then that we should find the value of x. Remember, I am Tutor Cletus Okoli. If it is your first time of stopping by, kindly subscribe to my channel. To this video, I encourage you to watch to the end. And I bet you, we are going to be very brief. We are going to apply the simplest method and the quickest one. Just a few minutes will be done. Then, I have x all over 5, r to the power of x, equal to the right hand side, 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2. What I will do? I will multiply both sides by power 1 over 5. I will raise both sides to the power 1 over 5. And that means I am going to have x all over 5, r to the power of x. Then I raise it to power 1 all over 5. And the same thing by the right hand side, 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2. I will raise it to the power of 1 all over 5. That is what I have done. Then I will apply the product law of indices that says if I am given n to the power of x, everything to the power of y. We simply multiply the powers and that is going to give us n to the power of x, y. Multiplication. So I'm going to do that here. And when that happens, I shall have, um, let's put it this side. I will now have x all over 5. Okay. Now, multiplying my power x here with 1 over 5, I shall have x over 5 as the exponent equal to to the right hand side I will now have 5 to the power 5 okay this 5 the power is a 5 to the power 2 I will multiply this with the 1 over 5 to get 5 then to the power 2 Multiplying 1 over 5. This will now be x all over 5. All to the power of x over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2 over 5. Beautiful. But then, 5 to the power of 2 is 25. Over 5 should give me 5. That implies that I will now have x all over 5 to the power of x over 5 written as equal to, I have now worked on the power, 5 to the power 2 is 25 divided by 5, that will give me 5, the base, then to the power 5. Now, looking at this, I will apply the law of indices that talks about uh, um, if I have x to the power of x equal to y to the power of y, then therefore x will not be equal to y. That is, the base will be equal to the base. And of course, the power should be equal to the power. What does that mean? It means that my base here by the left should be equal to the base by the right. That is, x all over 5 is my base by the left. It is equal to the base of 5 by the right hand side. And also the power, which is x all over 5, should be equal to the power here, which is also 5. In conclusion, we can now write and say that x all over 5 is equal to 5. And we can now cross multiply to have our x equal to 25. Final answer. A quick check to the result. Check result. Check result. I will substitute the value of x equal to 25 in the equation. And that is going to give me 
From here, I have my S, 25 over 5. Then, raised to the power of X, which is 25. Is it equal to the right-hand side, which is 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2? But, 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 25, which means I can now write by the right-hand side, 5 to the power of 25. And by the left, 25 over 5 is the same as 5. So, power 25, I will now write this side, 5 divided 25 will give me 5, and then, of course, to the power of 25. Meanwhile, by the right, we have gotten that it is equal to 5, then 5 to the power 2 is 25. You can now see and agree with me that the value of x, which we are asked to find, is equal to 25. Beautiful. You can see it is a brief one. Thank you for watching to the end. Remember to give thumbs up and share my video to your colleagues. And at the same time, if it is your first time of stopping by, kindly subscribe to my channel. I remember to talk to you so God bless you.